Headstand is one of those positions that it's really important to do it correctly in order to avoid injury. So here we're going to start again with your fingers interlaced, top of your head on the floor, elbows shoulder distance apart. Now, from here I'm going to take my feet together and then lift the heels away from the floor. As I do this, it's very important to keep the shoulders lifted high away from your neck. So your neck is nice and long, just like it is when you're standing up. Keep pressing your elbows on the floor, and if they feel light, you know that you're doing it wrong. Your whole forearm should be grounding. If you've got that, you can try taking your knee to your chest, and just starting to work on the strength in your core. Notice the other foot, the heel stays lifted. The hips then stay over the shoulders. If you look here, my hips are over my shoulders. How? Because my heel is lifted high. And the weight is really on the forearms, just like it would be if you were up in the pose. From there, I'm going to take that foot down and then go to the other side. But notice, again, the shoulders don't drop like that. They're not down here. There, it's easy for the weight and the pressure to go into your neck. Instead, keep your shoulders lifted high away from the floor. Another tendency is for the back to round like that as you go into this. It's collapsing. It's because you're not, you don't have the strength to support yourself. Back off if that happens and focus on bringing your spine into a nice straight line here. Once again, the heel stays lifted and that'll help you to keep your hips over your shoulders, giving you a sense of how you can work on the strength that you'll need to be all the way up there. When you've finished both sides, come down, take a rest. Feel good? Do it again.